evolution and introduction of Lean Six Sigma. In this video, I will take you through the various history, various concepts of Lean Six Sigma and how we, what exactly Six Sigma is all about. What is the history behind it? Who is actually put efforts for the for the Six Sigma concepts? So we'll be talking about history and concepts in this particular module. What do you mean by Six Sigma? As you can see, we are having a, we are having the target, and always we try to hit the target. Even in manufacturing or services. We are having certain set of the activities, processes in our department and we are supposed to complete those activities, we have to reach the target and satisfy the customer and the in every company is working for the profit by satisfying the need of the customer. Now, what do you mean by Six Sigma? Six Sigma will tell you how close you are meeting the expectation of the customer. Sigma is a letter, it's a Greek letter, it's 24th Greek letter and Sigma is symbol which shows the degree of variation in a process. So you can call it a standard deviation. So if you are deviating from the target value, then Sigma value would give you the idea how much you are deviating from the target value. Now let us look at this. It is a business management strategy developed by Bill Smith of Motorola in 1981 and it is the methodology for continuous improvement. It is a set of statistical data, other quality tools arranged in a unique way for the explanation. It's a problem solving technique, it's a statistical approach and a quality philosophy and we can also call this as the out of box thinking. It, it can be applied in existing process even for the process development also we are having certain other tools which we can apply it is the it improves the quality of the process outputs by identifying and removing the causes of the defects and minimizing the variability into the manufacturing and business processes if you are working at six sigma level then you can claim that i am working at 99 point 9997% of the accuracy that means almost zero defects and if you would like to define it in mathematical terms then you are working at 3.4 defects per million opportunities if you are producing 10 lakh products and you are having three or four defects only then you can say i am working at six sigma let us understand some more parameters of this as you can see into this graph this curve is called the normal curve. Let us understand this particular chart with one example. Let's say I am into the manufacturer of this particular cap and I am producing this cap and my supply, my customer is saying that you, my company has to produce the diameter of four centimeter of this cap. Now he has given me certain tolerances you can see certain customer specifications. So customer specification are 4.2 on upper side and 3.8 centimeter onto the lower side. He is saying me that if you will be producing above 4.2, it is rejected, which is shown with the red part in this particular diagram. And if I will be producing below 4.3.8, then that is also rejection. So, as a manufacturer, I would try to produce this particular cap within the range of 3.8, 4.2. Now, I have started production and because of the common causes, because of the man, machine, material, method or certain internal or external factors, there is a variability in my process. And you can see I have produced some defects and it is shown in red. So those are the defects. If I am producing, let's say I am producing 100 such caps and I am producing at 3% of the defects, then I can extrapolate and I can say that out of 10 legs, I have produced 3000 defects. Now 
in our bridge table, I can check what is the sigma level I'm walking. When we are walking at six sigma, six sigma, we are saying we are producing 0.0003 defectives out of 100. You need to understand variability and customer specification and that is the essence of six sigma.